Uh, we need more light in here. I'll replace these dim bulbs with General Electric soft white. General Electric soft white bulbs aren't like ordinary bulbs that have hot spots. And look, ordinary bulbs cast harsh shadows. Almost no shadow with GE soft white. You see, no glare, soothing soft white light all over. <laughs> Ah, uh, the nanny state come to the rescue. Look at that. I've got pretty much the same box that Mr. Magoo had all those decades ago talking about soft GE soft white light 60 watt bulbs. These will soon become illegal, not just in Canada, but in the United States as well. It's already happened in Australia. Here is why it's all to help the environment. Here's the quote from Natural Resources Canada. As part of its effort to reduce energy consumption and greenhouse gas emissions, the government of Canada established new energy efficiency regulations to phase out the use of inefficient light bulbs. As a result, the standard will affect 75 and 100 watt bulbs manufactured after January 1st, 19 or 19, 2014, and 40 and 60 watt bulbs manufactured after December 31st, 2014. That means you've got one year to start hoarding these. And the fact that we still have them, well, maybe that's enough to bring Ben Shapiro back up to Canada. Ben joins us now from California. Ben, you guys are already having, am I reading this correctly on Breitbart.com? Um, is, is that you guys already have a, a ban on 75 watt light bulbs? Basically, whatever is in stock is the last 75 watt bulbs we will ever see in the United States. They've, there's a ban on manufacture in the United States, importation into the United States of 75 watt incandescent light bulbs. Instead, we are going to, you know, the more energy efficient, friendly uh, light bulbs. Of course, the people who this hurts the worst are the poor. I mean, this is just like every other environmental regulation. The people who are disproportionately impacted are the people who want to pay a buck for a light bulb instead of 10 bucks or 15 bucks for a light bulb. Now, one of the things a they say about for a light new bulb. You're paying efficient. too much. You're paying too much. Uh, the price isn't on this one, but <laughs> the ones just outside the studio, I had two boxes here in the office, four for $1.59. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I had the price tag right. on that it on the other right. one. Yeah, so yeah, you're paying yeah, too I'll, much I'll at a dollar a light bulb. But the, those I lose, the, yeah, I lose compact the price is right. fluorescents are what, seven bucks? Seven bucks, eight bucks. And now, now the, the idea is that these light bulbs last a lot longer. They'll last you a year or two. Well, people in California don't live in one place for a year or two. Most people move around. A lot of people change apartments. What do they care about whether the light bulb burns out, whether they leave or not? Uh, th this whole thing is, you know, just another environmentalist attempt to ram particular reg le legislation down the throat of the American people. It's, it, it is... It, it, the government just becomes more and more egregious and overbearing here. I mean, when they are regulating you down to the amount of water that, that flushes in your toilet, which they do federally in the United States, and they have a different standard in the state of California, everything from the, num the amount of water in your toilet to the light bulbs that you use in your house is now regulated by the government. I think it's safe to say we may be spending too much time and effort on government, but, you know, in the state of California, starting yesterday, hey, we he, had 800 new regulations in place. Uh, the late Bill Buckley used to talk about the shower adjusters. In Ontario, yep. we have them. If you have a new home or a new hot water tank installed into your existing home, it cannot be above a certain temperature. I found this out. I, I missed this somehow. It didn't get uh, a lot of media attention. I go to visit my mother. She's in a, a new uh, adult lifestyle development. I can't get a hot shower. I joke about it must be uh, some kind of government conspiracy. My sister says, well, actually, and it turns out it is. So they are adjusting <laughs> your shower. Uh, let's get back to the light bulbs quickly, though. Have you ever uh, been around one of these compact fluorescents when it breaks? Yeah, I mean, you have to have a hazmat suit. It, it's, it's, it's unsafe. Uh, they, they actually, you're, you're not allowed to discard them in regular trash bins. You're supposed to take them to, like, specialized places. And, and you were supposed to, if you clean it up yourself, you were supposed to open the window of whatever room it's in and leave for 15 minutes until the toxic fumes leave, <laughs> then you're supposed to sweep it up into a specialized sealed container and then take it. Uh, we used to have them yeah. all over because for a while you were getting these things free. They'd leave them in your mailbox. Uh, you'd go to a, a, right. a, a local uh, community picnic and there'd be a politician handing them out. So we had them all over the house. We had a couple break. My wife read the instructions and she said, get those out of my house. Forget about the fact that they have an awful cold light that she doesn't like. They yeah, are exactly. a health hazard. They're filled with mercury. This, you're right, this is an attempt to, uh, to control. It's funny, liberals love to say the, uh, the state has no uh, business in the bedrooms of the nation. 
but they seem to have business in, in the living room and every other room. I want to ask you about this. Have you heard about the uh, new uh, regulations on fireplaces in San Francisco? Yeah, you were telling me about them earlier. I mean, that's that's insanity. Okay. I mean, the, the idea that, that there are environmental conditions in, in San Francisco and then you can't Here's burn what a it log says. at certain times of the year. Under this regulation, it is illegal to burn wood, fire logs, pellets, or other solid fuels in your fireplace, wood stove, outdoor fire pit, on days in which the air district issues a winter spare the air alert. What's that? Well, the, the, the air quality's not right. The, the, the wind streams the wrong way. You're not in the age of Aquarius because the stars haven't aligned. You can't burn a fire in your own home. It's insanity. It's insanity. Pot, yes. Wood, no. So the Indians, the, the Native Americans would have been in serious trouble, right? I mean, this idea that everything that we do impacts the environment to such an extent that we need the government doing everything from regulating. Let, let's say you have a bedroom with a fireplace, right? Now you're talking about the kind of light bulbs you use in the bedroom. The government will stock the condoms in the drawer for you, uh, and they'll regulate the, the number of days that you're allowed to use a log in the fireplace for that romantic feel. Plus, depending on the, uh, there's a new law in the state of California that certain types of malt beer that you, that you brew yourself have to be labeled. So you know, the, the alcoholic beverage that you consume that so night now, is also now, the business I, of the state. I, I brew the beer in my own home, consume it in my own home, has to be labeled. Here's a couple of uh, quick more. Let's just get these out of the way. A couple of more crazy laws from your good state of California. Uh, they had to pass an, uh, an ordinance uh, prohibiting prison workers and peace officers from having sex with inmates and prisoners in transport. Uh, it's just head shaking. And then here's this one. Uh, they, uh, Assembly Bill number 2189 allows a car rental company to verify a renter's identity by comparing the driver's license photo to the driver renting the vehicle. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, didn't, the I didn't you know you couldn't just that. look up. Uh, but don't worry, you guys have the fiscal cliff looked after. You're, you're fine. Ben, we'll talk to you again soon, my friend. Uh, help me, dude. I'll see you soon. <laughs> we'll, uh, we'll get Ben Shapiro moving up to Canada yet. You just wait and see. Drop by lilyspad.ca, uh, including for a, uh, some, some great stuff on, on the fiscal cliff, which we didn't talk to Ben about this time. lilyspad.ca. More to come.